This is Long Island Sound and a Nissan GTR, but wait, pan over, come on. This is me and my Nissan Sentra. And today, we're gonna drive through my home state of Connecticut and Pennsylvania sometimes because I pretty much live there too. My name is Erica Lord and this is FLD Tours. Okay, so I think we should talk about 2007 because 2007 was an important year. 2007, we had Beyonce killing it on the charts, Irreplaceable, number one song, Rihanna coming in close with Re Umbrella. I mean, Ella, Ella, we all know that. That was the worst, get stuck in your head. But most importantly, 2007 was the model year when Nissan decided to redesign their Sentra. Not only redesign it, but take it off their fleet as their cheap sedan, like the cheapest possible sedan you could buy and bring in the Versa, which is still around today. And Nissan didn't mean it to be not only redesigned, but sporty. It's still kind of slow, but it was like the car to bring in to get you from point A to point B in the safest, most comfortable, but also kind of sexy, the sexiest way possible. Layla has a 2.0 liter DOHC 16 valve four cylinder engine producing 140 horsepower and 147 pound feet of, well, you know. My Sentra also has the 2.0 S convenience package and an intelligent key button on the door handle to make locking and unlocking super quick. So people up north don't don't really know what this is, but Wawa in Pennsylvania is literally like a, like a religion. It's like a way of life. I mean, I've been here three times in the past three days and I have no regrets. So, I mean, I'm just gonna enjoy this right now. Hmm. There's five different trim levels for the Sentra. You have the 2.0, the 2.0 S, which is the one that I have, the 2.0 SL, the SER, which is the faster one, and the SER V-Spec, which is the fastest one. She is donning a fresh powdered white coat of paint with 17 inch Motegi racing wheels in hyper black as well as an aftermarket spoiler and grill. Inside there's charcoal cloth seats and keyless ignition. To bump some tunes we have an auxiliary input, AM FM CD with six speakers. For some flair I've added pink dice, the dream catcher, hidden ninjas, and the stig. Okay, so three direct competitors to the Sentra. You have the Volkswagen Jetta, Hyundai Elantra, and you got the Mazda 3. The Elantra and the Sentra are most closely related in miles per gallon and in, you know, horsepower, speed, performance. Mazda 3, a little faster, Jetta a little faster, more powerful. And, you know, I think that's the reason why I have a Sentra is because of the lack doesn't mean that I regret having this car, but it's easily one of the slower options out of its direct competitors. And that's probably why I got it as a first car, because my parents thought speed is not top priority here. So unfortunately, I haven't been doing any kind of crazy racing or anything in my past seven years of owning this car, but I still absolutely love it. I still would pick it out of all the four. 
That's a wrap on my FL detour of my Sentra. We are on top of a parking garage in Philadelphia. My hair's in my face, it's windy as hell. So I'm gonna go. All right, bye. <laughs> and today, we're gonna go through Connecticut. Nope, that makes no sense. Behind me is... <laughs> Whoa, okay. Oh my god! I was like, who is this creepy guy? <laughs> I want all the residuals. All the residuals. Great. And this is FL Detours. Woo! Done. Can't handle it. Ow. We're living in the fast lane, baby. Tuning in the fast lane daily. Car magazines are old news, man. Ain't got the time for shopping at the newsstand. We're living in the fast lane, baby. Tuning in the fast lane daily. News for the always on the go folks. Merge to the left and pass all the slow pokes. You can view how you choose to fastlanedaily.com or YouTube. Hosted by my man Derek D. Subscribe right now. Don't just take it from me.